Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Bailey and today I want to show you this cool little script that I like to use inside of After Effects. It's called Connect Layers. It's by Motion Boutique and I'll put a link to that in the description. And basically what it does is if you have a bunch of little points while you're animating, like null objects or shapes, you can create lines in between them that will dynamically move while you're animating those points. It's pretty simple, but very useful. So once you've got the script downloaded and installed, and you can run it just like you would any other script inside or After Effects, you know, run the script. It'll create that panel, and I've got mine just docked over here. So first thing I'm gonna do is create a bunch of null objects. I like using those. So that's Control-Alt-Shift-Y. I'm just gonna make a couple of those, move them around on the canvas here. Now with all of those selected, if you go over to the Connect Layers panel, you can see that we've got three options, rope, tree, and triangulation. And they're all a little similar. They all do slightly different things. I'm just gonna talk about the triangulation because I use that one the most. So if you just click it, it'll process and it will create all these shape layers these lines. And you can see when you move around the null, it moves with it, which is pretty cool. Now, sometimes if when you first create these, they might be a little hard to see. If you select all of your joint null uh, shape layers, you can go up here and just make them a little bit thicker. Of course, you can edit these individually by going down into the contents doing all this stuff down here, just like you would. So you've got some control there for sure. You could even change the color of this for fun. So pretty cool. And if you want, you can just like delete individual ones and it doesn't mess anything up. What it's done actually is created a bunch of expressions, which you can see by clicking on this and hitting you, you can see what the script has actually done. So it's cool. So, Another great thing about the Connect Layers tool is that it actually works for 3D objects as well. So if we select these nulls, make them 3D objects by clicking this checkbox, and we run the script again. Again, I'm just gonna make these a little bigger. And you can make this default to a larger width as well. If we go over to custom view here, and I'm gonna hit C to bring up my camera tool, and we can orbit around this, and if I click on one of these nulls and move it back into Z space, you can see that it's actually 3D. So as you can see, there's a lot of potential here when you're animating. And of course, you know, you can animate these nulls. Another cool little thing that is uh, something I haven't used a whole lot, but I think has some potential for sure, is instead of just creating lines, you can actually create faces. So if you go over to the options button on this panel, you have some options in here so we can change the default stroke width here or the color even. But let's click this checkbox called fill triangles. Close that out. And I'm gonna do a couple of basic animations here. I'm just gonna keyframe this position here and then I'm gonna switch back to my active camera. And then I'm just gonna move these around in different positions. Really basic, nothing too interesting here. But as you can see, you might be able to do something interesting. Like if you had some footage and you wanted to do some tracking on that footage with these positions and then run your triangulation script on top of that, you can do something interesting, like if you were to track a mouth talking or something, and I think they even have an example of this on their, the page where you can download the script, you could do like some kind of low poly thing on that, right? So now let's select these nulls again, now that we've added an animation, and hit triangulation again. And this time, instead of creating lines, we've actually created some triangles. And I'm going to just change the fill on this one a little bit so that they're different. And you can see faintly here that it's created some keyframes. Ooh, 
Fancy. Okay. You get the idea. So I highly encourage you guys to go ahead and download this versatile tool for all your animation fun. All right, guys. Take it easy.